Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today and back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to enhance your gear on the season server. So we're going to take a look at all of the different season server gears that you're going to obtain in your progression period through the season server, show you how to upgrade all those and give you some recommendations towards that. This was a very highly requested video during my live streams over on Twitch this past week and I wanted to make sure to get it out. But real quick, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been enjoying the content on the channel, and you still haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please consider subscribing. It helps grow the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's start by taking a look at the Naru gear. So as you play through the story on the Season server, you're going to pick up these various Naru gear items that you see right here. So first things first, do not worry about the accessories except for the Naru ring that you need to get to pry. Otherwise, don't even bother upgrading these things at all. And also note that you're going to get a pry ring just for playing through some of the side quests as you progress through the story. So you really don't even need to worry about this one. The Naru accessories cannot be exchanged for any other accessories as you progress through the season server. And they're not really that good. So really, don't even think about those. So that just leaves us the Naru gear, and as you can see, I've already got mine up to pen, so this isn't going to be a really good explanation on how to use them. So to fix that situation, we're going to find the NPC Fugar. Fugar is located at just about every single stable keeper in the world of Black Desert, so just find your favorite stable keeper, and you will find Fugar. If you're that struggling to find him, if you type in Fugar into the search bar, you will see all the different Fugars that are available, so you can click on any one of them and navigate to them. So once again, that is the NPC search function that's located in the top right corner of the screen. When you arrive to Fugar, if you click on the Exchange tab and scroll all the way down the list, you can see that you can exchange the various beginner black stones that you're going to get for playing through the story for different Naru gear. Do note that you're going to get this Naru gear as you play through the main story. So just for playing through the story, you don't even need to worry about this, you're going to get it, but I'm just showing you the other way to get it if for some reason you throw it away, you destroy it, or you need to restore the durability of the gear piece. You just click on it, click buy, and I've got it. And I'm going to buy a second one just to show you the other thing you can do with the Naru armors or any of these duplicate items. Now, as far as upgrading this gear goes, it's pretty straightforward. As you play the story, you're going to get a ton of these beginner Blackstone's armor and weapons. These are my leftovers. I have these many left over after getting every single item to pen that I need to get to to continue with the gear progression on the season server. So you're going to have a ton of these. But anyway, to upgrade gear in Black Desert, you have to open up your Black Spirit and click on the Enhancement option at the bottom. Then you select your gear piece and you select the item that you want to use to upgrade it. Your first five upgrades for armor and your first seven upgrades for weapons will be guaranteed. So you can just click the skip animation button and just click it five times for this armor piece that I'm upgrading right here. Straightforward. After that, you're going to see a percentage chance at success. This is your percentage chance at success based on your current fail stack chance. Fail stacks are gained from failing upgrades. Go figure. That's why it's called a fail stack. They can also be obtained through using advice of Valks that you'll obtain for playing through the story as well. Although I would not recommend using any of these for this Narva gear. We're going to save these for the tubular gear later. You can also, if you really want to stack up fail stacks, check out somebody else's guide on fail stacking because I'm not doing any fail stacking. I hate fail stacking in Black Desert. And you don't need to do any fail stacking for this at all anyway. But generally speaking, with this Narva gear, you can just click it all the way through. It's super easy. So you just literally keep mashing the button until you go up. And you basically got to get this all the way up to pen. So you can see that it's got really solid chances all the way up to the pry status. After which point it's going to start to drop off a little bit, but that's okay because we're just going to keep tapping this all the way through. And that's it. We got our pen one in like 200 stones, just straight up clicking it. It also only used up 12 durability, so this item started with 100 durability. If you look at the red bar at the bottom of the item as I hover over it, it's at 88 out of 88. So let's just say you're the most unlucky person in the world and you need to repair this durability. The only reason why I bought the second piece of armor was to show you how to do this. If you go up to a stable keeper or a blacksmith, interact with them, click on the repair tab, and click the recover max durability. You can pick the pen Naru armor that we just upgraded that was missing 12 durability, click on a Naru armor, and click recover once. This will recover 10 durability to it. So if your stuff does break while you're doing these upgrades, you can repair it. But anyway, you just need to straight up repeat the system all the way through for all of your different pieces of gear. Once you have a full set of pen Naru gear, which shouldn't take that long, and it should be about the time you're completing the Medea storyline, come on back to this video. So after you've completed the entirety of the Medea storyline, which means that your main quest log, if you press the O key, looks just like this. You're up to Valencia Eastern Sand Kingdoms, 0 out of 58. You can begin to exchange that Nara gear for Tuvala gear that is the season server gear that everybody talks about. You see written all over the forums everywhere. It is basically the best in slot gear that you can get on a season server. To do that, find that same NPC we've been talking about earlier, the Fugar NPC. Go ahead and hit on him. Click on the chat option and have the Naru gear in your inventory at the pen ranking. From here, you can exchange that gear. So for example, if I want to exchange this Naru armor, it will give me Tuvula armor. And in my inventory, there will be Pry Tuvula armor. Compared to the stats of the Naru gear, you can see it has four more DP. And generally speaking, all of this Tuvula armor is better than that Naru gear that you're trading into them. 
It's also at the price stage, so it's actually skipped out on 15 upgrades for you, which is even better. It saves you a ton of these time-filled blackstones, which is the upgrade item for the Tuvala gear. So go ahead and finish exchanging all of your gear. Once again, you need to have completed the Medea storyline in order to do this. So now you got all of your tubular gear and the weapon and sub weapon you're going to need to pop open like this. But once you got it all, now we can start taking a look at how to upgrade this gear. So this time I'm going to start with my rune scimitar. So once again, we open up the black spirit, click on the enhancement tab and click on the weapon. And you're going to notice a stark difference in the percentages that you see this time around. It's going to be a lot lower than it was before. So once again, this can be improved through the methods that we mentioned earlier, either fail stacking, using advice of Valks, using these items called Valks cries, or you can just YOLO it at your 14% chance of upgrading and start burning through your time-filled Blackstone materials. Now here's another little mini tip if you want to do some fail stacking for free for these first couple of upgrades. If you talk to Fugar, click on the exchange tab, scroll back down, and let's go ahead and get another Naru Glove item here. So we're just going to go ahead and pick that up. Go back into our Black Spirit, click on the Enhancement tab, click on the Naru Gloves, and just start skipping animation and mashing away through these. And basically just keep smashing it until you fail a few times, you can get some free fail stacks like this. You can then go back to the original item you were trying to upgrade with a little bit of a head start on your fail stacking. So now instead of 14%, I've got it at 21.6%. The nice thing about this first upgrade as well, from Pry to Duo, is that if it fails, it does not reset the item. The item does not drop down a tier because you can't go lower than Pry. So if you really wanted to, you could just smash this until it goes. So I just pressed my luck another time on this gloves though real quick, and I got myself up to 13. So I'm going to take this Shamshir back out. And now I've got a 27% chance, and I think that's enough for me to want to start smashing at it. So all I do is literally click the button, click the skip enhance, and fail like five times in a row and burn through tons of time-filled blackstones. Now from this point forward, if you fail, you are going to drop back down a tier every time you fail. So this 9.6% chance to go from duo to try is not very good odds. You can get around that for this upgrade using refined magical blackstones. And I guess I should stop for a second and say, hey, where do I get these time-filled blackstones and refined magical blackstones, Levi? What the hell are you talking about? If you go to your favorite YouTuber for Black Desert's channel, you will see a guide literally titled, Where to Farm Time-Filled Blackstones, Refined Magical Blackstones, and Tubula Ore. And if that's not enough for you, Black Desert, Bonus Tubula Ore, Time-Filled Refined Magical Blackstones, Regional Kill Quest, a second video about it. So these will both be linked in the description below if you want to know where to farm these different items or where to do these kill quests, linked in the description below. Anyway, when you've built up enough of these refined magical blackstones, you can use them to guarantee the upgrade from duo to try. It will take 30 of these, so it's going to take quite a few, which means you're going to have to farm for a little bit. Also, if you go ahead and talk to Fugar, click on the exchange tab, you can exchange 30 of the regular time-filled magical blackstones for refined magical blackstone times one, which is a pretty crappy exchange rate. Or... If you open up the quest log, go to the reoccurring tab and scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see the Season Stronger Tubula Gear. These are a series of weekly quests that reset exactly one week after you finish it. So it's not like it resets every Sunday or every Wednesday, it's one week after you finish it, so the sooner you do it, the sooner it resets. For killing the specified number of mobs in any one of these different locations, you will get one of these options. So you can either choose 40 of the Refined Magical Blackstones, 90 Tubula Ore, or 600 of the Time Filled Blackstones. With the exchange rates, it's basically better to pick it whichever one you need. Normally what I would do is I would use these refined magical blackstones. Once again, the season server just started. You have tons of time, so you don't need to rush anything. But if you want to press your luck with fail stacks, feel free to do some fail stacking or use some advice of Valks that you've gotten. But anyway, to swap to the refined magical blackstones instead of using the time-filled blackstones, you literally just click on them and you can see that it says, you need 30 of these, Levi. You can't make this upgrade. And I'm like, I know. I know, Black Spirit. I'm poor. So these will guarantee you your upgrade from duo to try. So congratulations on hitting try, everybody, but now you're probably going to notice your next big problem, and that is that your durability of your weapon has dropped to nothing. So you can see that my weapon right now is at 10 out of 10 durability. It needs to get repaired. To do that, you're going to need to use Tuvula Ore. So to do that, find your friendly neighborhood blacksmith. If you need help doing it, click the Find NPC icon in the top right corner once again, and look for the Weapon Armor icon, and that will take you to your local blacksmith. If you click on them, click on the Exchange tab, you will see that you can exchange Tuvula Ore for various items. So in this case, I'm upgrading my weapon, so I need these main weapon boxes. So we will go ahead and buy three of these, pop open those boxes, talk to the blacksmith once again, click on the Repair tab, Recover Max Durability, click on our Try Tubula Sham Shear, use these Tubula Sham Shears here, and we can hit Continuous Recovery, and if you want to use Artisan's Memory, you can use those to increase the rate of recovery. The next thing you're going to want to do with this new Try Whatever You Chose to Make is go on over to Fugar and click on the Quest tab. So from the Quest tab, you're going to see these quests called Even Blank 1. So you're looking for the even blank where the blank is whatever you just upgraded. So in my case, it is the Tubula Shamshir, and it is number one. So go ahead and click that, click confirm, and mash through that. If you then go ahead and equip that piece of gear that you just upgraded, it's going to auto-complete that quest. Go ahead and talk to him, and it will complete, giving you an advice of Valks plus 40. So if we go ahead and take that Tri Shamshir back off, open up our Black Spirit, 
Go to the Enhancement tab, throw it on there. You will see it's at an abysmal 6% rate. You're then going to navigate over to the Pearl tab and use that advice of Valks plus 40. Go ahead and hit yes to confirm it, and it's going to bump you up to a very modest 26%. So at this point, you have a couple of options. You can continue to smash these and hope, and every time you fail, it's going to drop back down to duo. Once it hits duo, you go ahead and use the refined magical blackstones to take it back up to try with a guaranteed percent chance to keep your fail stacks. So you'll be at like 45 fail stacks, 28%, and you try again. Fail, another 30 refined magical blackstones. Try it again. Repeat this process over and over and over again. So refined magical blackstones from duo to try, then try to get that try to tet upgrade using that 40 fail stack. You could also use Cronstones if you want, although it's not really recommended by most people. I don't have enough resources to keep going along in this vein, but I will tell you how to do the next upgrade once you do finally get to Tet. So once you do have your whatever item Tetted, if you go ahead and talk to Fugar and you click on the quest option again, you're going to see the quest number two for whatever you're trying to upgrade. So in this case, the Shamshir once again. When you click on it and accept that quest, you will see that you'll get an advice of Valks plus 60 for completion of this quest. So after that, once again, you take the piece off, you put it on, you talk to him again, you get the advice of Valks plus 60 in your inventory. You then go back to your Black Spirit, click on the Enhancement tab, pop in that Advice of Valks plus 60, and at this point, 99.9999999% of the people are going to say to use Cronstones. Maybe not that heavy a percentage, but a lot of people will say to use Cronstones to keep yourself from falling off of that tap back to try. It's a painful upgrade process and it sucks to go back, plus it only costs like 170 or 80 Crons, so it's not that big a deal. As compared to like a normal pen upgrade that would set you back like a lot more. Now, if you don't like your odds, you can also use these Valks Cries that give you one additional fail stack every time you use them for a maximum of 10 bonus fail stacks. So now we know how to upgrade gear. Let's take a look at accessories. And these are also a similar system. Once again, for this, you're going to need Tuvula Ore. So this is the other use for Tuvula Ore. If you talk to the blacksmith, click on the exchange tab. You will see that for Tuvula Ore, you can exchange five for the various accessories. One of the challenges for this season is a Tuvula Ring to try. So you're definitely going to have to upgrade these. But beyond that, the best one of these accessories to upgrade is the Tuvala Necklace, at least at the time of making this video, because you get story accessories that are really, really strong for the other three slots. So you get this Forest Eye Earring from playing through the story, this Red Sand Crystal Ring, and a Tri Rock Heart Belt. The stats on these are really solid, whereas the best you can get is an Asula Crimson Eye Necklace, which the Tuvala Necklace will outpace tremendously. So beyond getting a Tri Tuvala Ring, there's really no reason to upgrade the other accessories other than a necklace, until you've got everything else fully upgraded here on a season server. But once you've exchanged with the blacksmith for them, it's pretty straightforward. Once again, you just go ahead and open up your black spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, navigating to the enhancement tab, clicking on the first necklace, clicking on the second necklace or whatever accessory you're trying to upgrade. And you can see I have an insane fail stack right now, which I do not want to waste. So we're going to swap it over to my two fail stack using this band of Nadir. And if you don't have Nadir's band, then you can check out my guide on that as well. But you can see it's a 72% chance to pop. And if I click the button, I'm going to fail it because that's how accessories work in Black Desert. They suck. At any rate, same system applies. You can use the Pearl Shop's little advice of Valks if you have those. You can use Valks Cries. You can fail stack before you do that. Or you can just fail it every time because that's how accessories work in Black Desert. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So if this video is going to help you to progress your season character, let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to leave a like. And once again, if you have not already subscribed to the channel and you want to stay updated when videos and tutorials like this do come out, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. It helps to grow the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.